Hi everyone, so I'm Reema once again making my second video on uh, astrology and a little bit on life coaching as well and my ethics and principles. So uh, I made this video a few times today and something or the other came up and I hope this is the final one that I have to make. Uh, it, I wanted to address a few questions that some of you asked and one of them was um, how do I make my videos? Do I keep a point list or do I edit my videos? No, I don't. I don't edit my videos. I don't know how to do that. I'm a no technology girl. I'm completely a people's person. I like to work in spiritual fields like hypnotherapy, Reiki, life coaching. So somehow technology doesn't, I'm not motivated to work with machines. And uh, if there's any information that you want to give me on how to record videos, uh, better YouTube videos, if in terms of the technology part, then feel free to share that with me. Right now, I'm holding my phone in my hand. So these are all the questions that you all ask. And so here's the answer. I'm holding the phone in my hand. And um, this is the best way I know how to do it. Um, so that's that. And I don't keep a point list. I definitely do a few trials. I did it for the previous video and today I did not intend to do so many trials but either there'll be a dump truck passing by or a school bus and you know I had to delete my videos for that reason. So I try to keep, you know, I have it processed in my mind and I just uh, trust that intuitively things will flow and uh, I will remember everything that I have to say. If I don't then that just gives me another chance to make a new video and get some more practice. Okay, so that was one question. Another question you'll ask is, why do I want to teach astrology? Uh, why not just read charts? That's a great question. I'll address it a little later. Before that, I want to talk about some ethical principles and then even what is life coaching in very short. Uh, it's again a long description that I could give, but I don't have, uh, you know, that leave in terms of YouTube will not upload my video if it's too long. Okay, so my ethical principles... Uh, uh, you know, something came up and related to that, I would like to mention that uh, when you're my friend, um, you know, and when I'm listening to your concerns as a friend, then I'm really just your friend. I'm not going to coach you uh, unless you ask me for it. And um, if I do begin coaching a friend, there is... Uh, there's ethics and principles around it. it. It cannot be that I could be meeting you in social settings, discussing your problems, and then also coaching you. It cannot be both ways. It's got to be either one. I wanted to clearly mention that I have my professional and personal boundaries that are really strong, and I don't mix the two ever. So somebody assumed that this is this one friend uh, I was supporting uh, over the last few months. I was life coaching. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to push you to your emotional limits, um, force you to bring clarification, which is all that we do in, li in life coaching. Use my life coaching skills even when I'm listening to you as a friend or supporting you. And neither am I going to tell you that uh, you need to life coach, uh, take a life coaching session, I need to coach you. I'm not going to do that. I'm naturally a very caring person, a nurturing person, and um, it's just me, you know. I love uh, to support people, to hear their concerns, and many of you feel that you can trust me even as friends and that's that's awesome but know that when you're my friend i'm just listening to you as a friend uh, i might give you advice uh, i might uh, just hold space for you or however that looks but i'm not going to coach you when you're my friend so uh, i was a little bit taken aback uh, to to know that uh, people could have such interpretations as well and so I wanted to clarify that. I also have very strong personal boundaries. I'm not a person who will easily, you know, let you be a close friend. Uh, it's very limited to very few people. Um, also, to the extent I'm so I'm such a private person that uh, I'm very choosy about who comes into my home. Uh, and if you know astrology, you could pretty much tell who I am, like what's um, you know what sign uh, this speaks of but uh, so if uh, this also extends to the fact that if i am listening to you as a friend if i'm supporting you and especially if that's not like a one-time thing if it's carried forward over the weeks and months then that definitely means that you're a very special person to me and um, i wouldn't allow you know i wouldn't use my time in supporting somebody who i don't care about who i don't feel special about uh, I, I think my time is way more precious than that. So uh, just know that, uh, you know, I'm still just kind of trying to laugh it out. But uh, I will not, I will not life coach a friend um, ever. 
and um, I don't mix the two. So if you are my friend and if you need to come to life coaching, then I'll make it clear that uh, you you would have to keep one strongly. I cannot discuss your concerns when I meet you there. Even when my clients ask me, could I be your friend? No, you cannot. You can either be my client or be my friend. So um, I hope that is clear. Like my friends know that uh, I don't like to gossip. And for that reason, many people don't even like me because it's not about just even knowing anybody even if two people are, are gossiping about a stranger who I don't know I don't like to stand in that situation I don't like to be a part of such conversations and that's why I'm very choosy about my outings who I go with uh, which outings I go to etc okay so that's that about my ethics and principles um uh, what is life coaching? Life coaching, in short, is um, if you know what counseling is, it helps you with your daily concerns, day-to-day -day concerns of life. We are trained to with skills, uh, with education and training to help you equip yourself with um, emotional tools, um, personal tools that will help you feel that you can rise above any situation, uh, reach forward, move, or you know, move towards your achieving your goals by keeping your fears aside your doubts uh, etc so as a life coach I could be helping you with self-confidence with relationship with your children your relationship with your partner career job uh, it could be getting uh, um, you know advice for just not even advice getting guidance for just um, one one small thing like uh, attending a job interview how to do that getting more confidence uh, getting you some information on so just like the the term says life coaching it's anything to do under the sky regarding your life we can help you with that um, and the way we go to a financial consultant to take help with finance or an insurance agent for insurance a fitness trainer for fitness just like that a life coach can help you we are trained to uh, emotionally you know build your muscle build your emotional muscle just like the fitness trainer will build your physical muscle and really you know a lot of life coaching cannot be described it has to be experienced so it's like I could write a whole book on swimming you could read it and you still won't know how to swim so it's just like that you would it's not like I'm telling you I'm trying to convince you I don't want to convince you you don't need to take life coaching if you don't want to but um, if it interests you if you have questions around it then I think the best way is to just experience it and um, uh, when you do book sessions with me I go over the difference between counseling and life coaching because I have certification in both I have practiced both and uh, I absolutely love life coaching it's just it's just awesome to see changes in people um, uh, that they hadn't believed uh, could you know be there and so what is different from uh, coming to a life coach and then talking to a friend or a family member that's a great question and uh, it's important to realize that when we go to our friends and family of course like you know they can be great uh, a great means to get support and uh, there's no way to to demean that to reduce the importance of that but uh, realize that many of us uh, find it hard to to vent out everything to say everything openly to family members that's one part of it versus a stranger who's a life coach uh, also as a life coach uh, we're going to look at things objectively there's no individual purpose uh, or free advice that is given there's no judgment that is made uh, i'm not here to judge you whether you're a good or a bad person what you think what you say uh, your actions your thoughts or even emotions are they good or bad we are not here to judge that and we are not here to tell you what you should or should not do which probably a family member or a friend would uh, would be more inclined uh, to do and we often experience that and that's something that may even demotivate us you know we may not want free advice at that time we may just want support we may just want someone to just hear us out and then give us a clear picture on uh, which behaviors are helping us and which behaviors are not so that's that part of life coaching which is different from talking to a family member or a friend uh, any other questions on life coaching like there's a lot that I can say of course but I don't want to make it a too, too long a video like I said before and maybe it's time it would be time to address that in another video now going over to a great question on uh, why I want to teach astrology I'm absolutely passionate about it why not just read charts that's that's just awesome you know many of you ask me that so there's a lot of points that I want to go over let me rem I hope that I remember to say all of them 
one part of reading charts is uh, which i which i do not uh, find interesting is um, it's lengthy uh, it's there's a lot of calculations involved so it requires personal space privacy time and astrology is not my career it's not something that i wish to do for an earning and it's just a an hobby and so uh, you know it is going to take up space my space which i could use towards coaching or something else that i'm passionate about in terms of my earning and my career so that's something i don't want to do uh, second thing there's energies of other people there's all kinds of negative positive and negative stuff over there looking at people's incidents their the the chart is your your aura you know it's your complete your complete self that's inside the chart in the form of energy and so when you open that it's like doing an operation right when a doctor is operating your body what does that feel like you know so spiritually it's taking over energy of somebody else which again i don't want to do um or even if i do i want to empower the other person i want there's a the person to not just get information but work on his or her issues concerns uh, leave aside the fears get more self confident and move forward with courage that's that's what i want to do right and that's that part of astro coaching which i discussed about in my first video what else what other reasons sometimes i might have to tell you things which you may not be ready to hear or it may be very sensitive information So again I don't want to be in that situation too much you know um I don't know like I want to be there I don't know if I just want to give you information I can say it honestly of course but um I want whatever information has to be given if I you know why should I tell you just tell you that you will not be able to have a child you why there's no purpose to that it doesn't do any good to you or to me I rather have you coach uh, through coming into coaching understanding how not having a child you know what kind what do you miss uh, how that leaves an emotional impact on you how to uh, rise above that um, gain that courage find avenues to fulfill that need to nurture as a mother so that's my passion you can see my face light up right when i talk about coaching i absolutely i absolutely love it it's that building the emotional muscle that that courage within you and being able to see things with clarity clearing the clouds clearing out your fears so that you can move forward um, no matter what it is that you want in your life uh, it's possible you know it, it it can so that's what i like to do another reason why i don't want i want to teach astrology is um, and this is that part of you know i want to teach astrology i want you to learn astrology because um, there is so much that you will gain from that information that you can use towards your life So when you're reading articles on health tips on fitness how how does it help you it doesn't it help you immensely uh, you're in your day to day routine taking care of your body um, not having to go to the doctor as much because you know home remedies because you know eating good food uh, will increase your immune system so it's just like that there is information that has i think has hasn't been globally shared uh, through astrology courses or by astrologers uh, or to a large extent some of them may have i don't know but um, you know the spiritual component of astrology i think is missing in many of the astrology courses or most of them it's uh, usually presented in a very technical manner and it's almost like taking away the soul from the body without knowing that astrology is not really for prediction as much as it is for diagnosis uh, that astrology has to be used in certain situations and not be used in certain situations and when you show your chart to an astrologer they can tell every single aspect of your life all your secrets your relationships um about your family your friends your boyfriends girlfriends your even to the extent of your sexual life to be very honest and so why do you want like i do not want you to be in a situation where you have to you know do that too often you know you put your full trust show your open up your entire life to somebody you don't even know that you're doing that right did you know that astrology says so much your chart says so much about you and so uh, it's almost like giving you the tools to repair your car uh, if it breaks down so that's my passion that's my reason uh, to teach you astrology and it's not like you have to it's absolutely okay if you don't you don't want to but i promise you that if you do you'll find it to your benefit and you'll find that there was nothing to lose Okay so I'm reaching the 15 minute uh, limit that has been set by YouTube for me before I ever upgrade to a higher sub- subscription. Uh keep keep putting in your questions. I absolutely love questions um and I love uh, curious minds so keep doing that. Thank you.